following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good day, money masters and treasure hunters. Welcome to the April 9th, terrific Thursday edition of our two of the Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, and I hope that each of you are off to a great start of your day. You should be. It's Masters Thursday. What a great weekend we've got in store for us, those of us that are golf aficionados, golf lovers out there. Hey, let's make sure that you and I, that we do everything we can to have a terrific Thursday. Of course, the easiest way to do that, let's always remember what's talked about is a dream, what's envisioned is exciting, what's planned is possible, but folks, what's scheduled is real. And I want to really thank you for scheduling your time with me here this morning. I'm absolutely here to serve you. I'm grateful for your presence. And you can always give me a call at 877 927 6648 727 445 1044. That's our international number. Remember, if you've got a question, someone else has got that exact same question. So don't call in for me. Don't call in for them. That's right. No, don't call in for yourself. Boy, I get that mixed up uh, often enough, huh? Call in for them, please. Call in for somebody else. Random act of kindness. That's all you've got to do. Just start your day off. Just look around. Do it at work. Do it wherever you are. Do a random act of kindness for some. Open a door, you know, uh, whatever it might be out there. It just, just needs to be a small little act. Hey, this is Terrific Thursday. Of course, none other than Hotel California, Tiger Financials Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, uh, basically, the market is flat. The Dow is off a buck. Silver, uh, the silver, uh, S&P is up 40 cents. Composites up five. Russell 2000 is down uh, two bucks out here. Uh, Silver and Gold had several, a couple emails, not several, a couple emails uh, during the uh, first show asked me if I would go take a look at it. So we're going to do that first thing off the bat. Gold's off 740. Silver's down 23 cents right now. Lightsweet Crude is up 67 cents. Lead the charge, the upside, you got Baidu, Win, Petro, China, Apogee Enterprises. Hey, I like that name, APOG. That's up 9% this morning, even better yet. To the downside, you got Shire PLC, you got Google, Unicure, and Simon Property Group. Those are your leaders dollar wise to the downside. So first, let's go take a look at uh, gold. We'll look at gold. We'll take a look at uh, silver. Let's first remind ourselves here of the uh, of the uh, correlation here between uh, gold, uh, between gold, the miners, because the question specifically was, hey, you know, take a look at the miners. They seem to be holding up better than uh, gold. What's your read on that? Uh, and then, of course, on the bottom of the chart here, what I've got is U.S. dollar index. So and just simply the correlation between these two. Now, if you look at the correlation between the top chart and the center chart, you got the continuous contract for gold up at the top. You've got the uh, gold miner, gold market vectors, uh, gold miners uh, ETF in the uh, center portion. You can see directionally. There's no question that this is a tango, and so when you're when you're trading one, you need to know what's going on with the other. Who's the lead dog here? Who's the lead? I have to say it's gold is the lead here, not uh, not the uh, miners out here. Um, nonetheless, we see the direct and and look uh, when we take a look at correlations, it's always good to see what's going on currency wise. And the currency pair here, this is a U.S. dollar index inverted. That means if price is moving higher in gold and the miners out here. You also want to see this chart here for the U.S. dollar index moving higher out here. So that means it would be getting weaker. In this case, we really don't have that out here. And then that's where, therefore, you can see it's moving down. It's getting stronger. And therefore, it's putting some pressure inside of gold and silver. So that correlation is in place. Always good to just take a look at those correlations just to begin with. All right. That's step number one. Step number two, which we cannot leave out, is that we had a full moon that came in on uh, Saturday. And that full moon, what I can't tell you why, I just know that it does. The full moon inside of, uh, has, has an impact on uh, gold. It has an impact on gold more so than anything else. I know that oftentimes, you know, we'll try to go ahead and take the full moon and apply it to the S&P 500. Uh, it doesn't work as well, not as consistently. But in gold, and gold, it works really well. Now, the problem always is when a full moon comes in on a Saturday, and in this case here, our market for gold was closed on Friday, we're screwed. 
I'm just meaning what I mean by that is we don't really know was an initiation move to the upside or to the downside. Was the low of Thursday? Was it the high of uh, Sunday? In essence, uh, Monday evening, a full trading session out here. Uh, you know, which of the two is the initiation move? So we're really kind of at this uh, line of demarcation because price has moved back to the low of last Thursday, April 2nd. That low is 1194.80. You're trading 1195.70, so you're within a buck. You've actually traded just slightly below that, and we got to 1192.40 earlier this morning. So if it takes out that low, it says you, you got trouble out here. So if you take out the 1192.40 area or take out, I guess, the, what, the close below 1194.80, it's going to have to make us say, hmm, something to really think about. It says make sure you've got some stops in place. Now, what this should be is this should be the formation of an A to B equals CD to the upside. This 1192-ish area ought to hold. That's what, and it's certainly 1178 or 1179 ought to hold out here. That's what should take place. Now, I say that because when I take a look at a third element, and this is a really good element, this is the uh, commitment of traders data. CFTC data. You too could build this chart if you'd like. And how Stevie looks at it is I take a look at the commercial. I take a look at really the two, two, two of the three different sides of the trade. I take a look at what they call the non-reportables. How would you like to be called the non-reportable group by the CFTC? Well, guess what? You, you and I are. We're, we're the so-called non-reportables. We're kind of like the small money traders out there. Well, just like they have non-reportables, and I don't take offense to it, I think it's a beautiful thing. I like to be the small guy. In this case here, you know, uh, they also provide us information on the big guys, the big kahuna out there. And those are referred to as the commercial traders. And I like to take a look at what they're doing, both really, both sets of traders as a percentage of the open interest out here. They help to identify what's going on inside the market. Let's fast forward to where we're at right now. Let's fast forward, I guess, uh, fast forward, let me get down here to the time period of what looks like in July of 2013. Okay, that's good. So we're back nearly two years out here worth of data. You can see that uh, when the commitment of traders down here, this black line, this black solid line, when uh, they're down at these levels here, you know, in what we'll call the four to the uh, nine-ish uh, type area, 10 reading out here, 10 percent uh, reading, you know, we have seen some decent bottoms inside of uh, gold out here. We have not seen anything like it's an all-time bottom. Or this is just really tradable type bottoms out here. If we take a look at the uh, last bottom that was formed inside gold. That took place the uh, uh, March, I'm sorry, November 17th, November 7th, 2014. We can see the commitment of traders date as soon as they started making their turn. These are big boats, big ships. These are big yachts, big, big old cruise liners out here. When they start making their turn, this is they're building their case here from being less net from being short or more more net short to being less net short they're always short they're always short they've always been net short uh, so that's why I take a look at what's their position as it relates to their net short position out here and then we just evaluate that more or less now what I can tell you is as uh, as uh, gold was making its high back here on January 23rd hey you had commercial traders start to exit those uh, larger net short positions and say time to uh, build the position to go the other way inside of uh, inside of uh, gold well we saw the turn last week so that says that this low down here that took place here March 21st that ought to be a good low we ought to be forming that A to B equals CD to the upside out here at least that's what they, now commercial traders they can afford to stay in their positions a lot longer than you and I can you know that's just the that's just the deal when you take a look at large money versus the non-reportable uh, group out here but as we speak right now until we see a close below that 1192 ish area out here um, the presumption of evidence says that gold still trying to form an A to B equal CD to the upside and that that's my that's my position out here if we go take a look at that's my read is really what I should say it's also my position if we take a look at uh, silver uh, go see what silver is uh, doing out here because the question was specifically was also about uh, silver let's take a look at it it's down 28 cents right now 
Um, silver is, uh, looks like it's uh, forming an A to B equals CD to the downside. Let's go take a look at it. Maybe it's already completed. Let's go take a look at it. The A point in uh, silver out here at the high on, um, yeah, I'm sure that it has because it, you know, there almost a full retracement out here. So it's really a foregone conclusion. But let's just go see where we're at. It's done the 1 to 1.272 A to B equals CD. That price projection, 1608. The actual low, 1610. Uh, now, volume-wise, um, looks like silver did about uh, 32,000 contracts on March 31st, 29,000 yesterday. So far today, about 48,000 out here. Silver's just simply pulling back into this area here where it had broken out. Um, you know, I, I think at this stage, silver did all the heavy lifting uh, early when it had that nice breakout on March uh, 20th. Prices really come back into that area. In essence, if we take a look at this, this is a, a Gartley buy pattern is what it looks like. It's setting up. Now, you don't have the bullish reversal signal out here. You're basically very close to the 0 0.6. When it, well, I might have done something wrong out here. Let me see if I can actually uh, catch it. It should have, should have tagged the actual swing point. There we go. That's it. Uh, the actual, it has not. 1607 is your actual 0.618 retracement level. So, you know, this says that you've got a Gartley buy pattern underway. Is it 1607? On the daily chart, we don't know because we don't have any kind of bullish reversal. We can go down to a lesser time frame. Let's go see what's going on on a 30-minute time frame. See if there's any kind of bullish uh, signals here uh, off of the uh, low so far. Ooh, voila. Uh, in the last 30 minutes, uh, we saw a hammer candle form. So between 9.30 and 10 a.m., you've got a hammer candle that has formed on a 30-minute. Are you going to make your trade based on your 30-minute chart out here for a daily time frame? No, not necessarily. But, hey, you got a nice little uh, candle out there. If it holds, uh, then you've got uh, a potential signal out here that you could fire away. Now, as we're speaking right now, um, you know, it's not a hammer candle if I blend these two sessions together. You really want to see it close back above by 10.30. You'd really like to see it close back above $16.19. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back, folks. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery in pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. Start. And experienced traders take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing, but what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. 
Find yours at directionfunds.com. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk charges, and expenses of Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the Direction Funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Steve, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. We got the Watson boys, Bubba. Bubba Watson is uh, one under. Tom, uh, uh, Tom Watson, uh, one under as well. Now, Tom's one under through hole number eight. Hey, how about that hole in one by Jack Nichols yesterday? Is that a beautiful thing or what? I mean, as it does not get any better than uh, that out there. Hey, right now the Dow's off 13. S&P is down uh, 30 cents out here. Back to uh, Goldilocks and high ho Silver. Now, Silver, and we take a look at the Silver chart, really gave a, a great signal for a uh, bottom. Gave us that seventh inning stretch candle to the uh, downside all the way back here on the uh, trading session of, uh, what was that, March the 11th. Now, what we have seen here as we speak this morning, the move down in the silver, we know that we've got the 1 to 1, 1, 1 to 1.2728 to B equals CD to the downside. No reversal, that 30 minute chart, you know, we saw a little hammer candle out there. So maybe it's got five minutes to uh, prove itself to us out there. Now, it doesn't have to close above that level. It's just what I prefer, you know, if you're really going to hammer out a bottom and the bulls are really going to take charge, I like to see some follow through, right? You got to have follow through. We take a look at it in life. At here, at this stage of the game right now, at 1025 in the morning you've got that uh, little macd uh, crossover right so you know it, that could say that we've got more lower price to go inside of silver again on the full moon i do not know um at this stage of the game whether it was an initiation move to the upside or the downside most times like 80 85 percent of the time that uh, full moon works why i don't know it just uh, works out here and so uh, now let's go take a look at some of the equities let's go see what we've got inside some of the equities if i take a look at just the xau overall we'll pull up the roads momentum uh, trading signals uh, chart out here you know, inside the XAU, it's probably the 20-day exponential moving average. I think I got this red solid line. We can see that's acted as a, a pretty decent area of resistance for quite some time. So you just got to see it move above 70, 68 before you really see a, a breakout here. But it doesn't look too, too bad. Just the opposite. Like, uh, like uh, one of our viewers uh, pointed out. The mining stock's holding up better than uh, gold and or silver at this stage of the uh, game. So it looks more like an A to B equals CD to the upside. That's actually being formed here in the XAU, which is good because that goes along with what we looked at uh, in gold. Let's take a look at a couple of individual equities. Hey, strong like bull, no question about it, is Barrick Gold. ABX is the uh, ticker symbol. This thing had... One heck of a sign of strength out here. Big sign of strength, big volume. April Fool's Day, 27 million. I don't know what was behind the volume on that, but it took out the uh, B point, did it with volume. Uh, we hit the 1 to 1.272 a couple of trading sessions ago up at the 1271-ish uh, type level. 
Um, you know, this had a, a gap up to it. Just come back really in essence to try to fill up this uh, gap out here. Uh, this still looks really, really strong out here. Bear Gold is at least going to make a run for these uh, consolidation highs in the 1320-ish type area out there. Uh, let's take a look at uh, PASS, Pan American Silver, P-A-A-S. Let's take a look at that. This is a good uh, silver uh, equity to uh, take a look at. What is Pan American Silver doing? Had a nice little uh, bottoming signal back here on March the 11th. Little key reversal uh, session out here. Uh, we saw the nice, uh, you know, it saw some volume, you know, a sign of strength. It wasn't wide price bar, but you did see some volume on that March 20th day, 3.7 million shares. But right now, Pan American Silver is uh, trading into, I think, uh, just uh, below, let me do this here, just below that swing point from March 11th, 2.5 million shares. Uh, yesterday, you came into it, tested with 1.8. So far today, 5.59. It's trading right at $9.00 nine cents you're trading at 911 you really want to see this close above 911 now where's the buy on pan american silver I'd have to say $8.76. That's your TAS market profile because it doesn't look like it's going to be able to have the energy to get down and test the low uh, $8.49. If you're trying to scale in into Pan American Silver, your buys right now are going to be $8.76 and $8.49 out there. And you don't want to see it close below $8.49, especially with more than 2.5 million shares. But that's how it would take a look. If you're looking specifically at silver, which was one of the questions, uh, that's the, those are the buy setups I would look at. This is based on daily a chart time frames out here and that is on uh, ticker symbol p a a s uh, just for the heck of it let's do uh, one more uh, gold stock let's look at uh, gold corp out here a g g is the uh, ticker symbol what is gold corp done to do it's done today uh let's uh, do this let's get rid of those lines out here what gold corp has done today it's pulled back to its point of control now if we take a look at this uh, taz box out here the most current box is set up more for a bullish formation out here so getting 1848 would have been your first area to take a, a position uh your second area would be the uh, bottom of the box 1808 and as well as the 1791 level that's your swing point i'm sorry that's your swing point from march 11th 9.2 million shares which has been tested with light volume. So we've already seen a test of that swing point low. Hey, you'd like to see another test of that swing point low as well, 1791. So if you're trying to build positions inside of these equities, these are the levels to be watching. Right now, the Dow is off six, the S&P is flat, the positive is up seven points out here. If we get back to this break, we'll go take a look at all the bullish signs still that exist inside of New York Stock Exchange, the positive and the Dow. Be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. 
trade with confidence and clarity while using the software that thousands of institutional traders rely on to make the best and most accurate decisions. Choose from a thousand equities, currencies, and futures instruments utilizing the TAS architecture. As seen on Bloomberg terminals worldwide, the TAS Profile Scanner is a benchmark technical filtering system that thousands of traders rely on and now you can too. For a limited time for TFNN subscribers only, we've reduced the price to just $97. That's over 75% off. John Logan hosted a special subscriber-only webinar in December, and you'll gain access to that archive as well, so you can learn exactly what the TAS Profile Scanner can do for you. Try this product out. No matter what you trade, the TAS Profile Scanner can help you make more informed trading decisions. There's no obligation to pay anything. Don't let this offer pass you by. Get your 30-day free trial to the TAS Profile Scanner today by signing up at TFNN.com. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.MOBI in the browser of your smartphone phone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Dow's off 20, S&P is uh, off 70 cents. It's going to be a very difficult day for these uh, markets to try to hold on to any gains out here. If we take a look at the Euro-Japanese yen uh, right now down at its uh, session lows. Not like it's falling apart here, um, at least not falling apart here just yet. But, uh, you know, the market uh, tends to uh, travel in the direction of this uh, currency pair. So big headwinds for the uh, markets. U.S. markets most certainly uh, struggling out here. Uh, being off 12 uh, points, uh, being off uh, in the Dow, being uh, basically flat in the S&P is pretty strong, all things considered, when I take a look at that currency pair. Now, I mentioned the uh, bullishness inside of the uh, New York Stock Exchange, uh, NASDAQ Composite, and the uh, Dow. If we just simply take a look at the uh, price oscillator summation index out here, uh, still above, excuse me, still above the uh, zero line, 0.72 is the current reading inside of the Dow. So long as it closes above the zero line out here, it just tells you that the sellers are in control. It's where you begin to see changes in trend. If you're watching us on Tiger TV and you look at the center portion of my screen out here, um, you know, you got where uh, red turns to green, the so-called, you know, buy on green, sell on red kind of scenario out here. Look, there are times where there's some jostling that goes around in the marketplace. But, you know, if you just utilize this as one of the signals as far as which, which side of the trade to be on, you do yourself a lot of good out there. You would stay out of harm's way uh, more times than uh, not. At this stage here, what we know is that uh, the market, the uh, when we take a look at the ETFs for the diamonds, the spies, the IWM, the Qs, they didn't have any volume. They tested the swing point lows on lighter volume, rejected it with price and volume. You can't bust them down. You try to bust them up. And then we get the change in trend inside of the other uh, indexes uh, and so forth. So, you know. The, the Dow is in bullish formation as we speak right now. Could change by the end of the day. That's really when the change would take place, which would be 4 o'clock. You want to utilize those readings as uh, daily readings out here. If we take a look at the NASDAQ composite, uh, its uh, price oscillator also above uh, zero line. It changed its trend back here on April the uh, 2nd. Um, you know, so at this stage here, it is the buyers that are in uh, control out here, been pretty resilient. Uh, you know, every time there's a sell off, they're not able to do anything uh, with it. Uh, and really, quite frankly, with the euro yen where it's at, man, sellers ought to be having a field day. 
and they're not having a field day. In the case of the composite, uh, price has gotten up to the 0.618 retracement level, 49.59.55 out here. Uh, as long as that oscillator is above by zero, then the 0.786 area becomes the next uh, uh, stop, which is going to be the uh, 49.95 area. If I look at the New York Stock Exchange, the healthiest of all of the indices out here, uh, this thing here uh, has tested and rejected the uh, swing point uh, bottom of the swing point from March 23rd out here. That low was 1170.53. Uh, it's, uh, you know, but it's also not doing anything. It's nothing bearish about the last couple days. Candle signals as well. It's still in full out, full blown bullish formation. That's the New York Stock Exchange. I don't recall the exact number of net declining issues that would be needed today uh, for the oscillator to turn to a zero. Maybe I've got it on a, uh, another chart out here. Maybe the number would be, Johnny, what's behind door number three? Well, the number would be 1153. 1153 net decline in issues is what would be needed to turn that price oscillator down below the zero line. Right now, net uh, declining issues inside the New York Stock Exchange are 84. Pretty strong. The under, you know, the, the, the wider swath of the market, uh, 84. And that's what the NYSE, let me see, what is that uh, index today is down eight points. You know, so really not uh, not that big of a deal as we speak uh, right now. Let's go check out. So that's that's and one more one other item, one other check here. Uh, the VIX index still below 50 day exponential moving average. So, you know, that's that's what you've got. You may not like to hear it on the bullish side, may not like to hear it on the bearish side. Um, but that's really what the market's doing, what it's communicating to us. Let's not overthink it. Let's just kind of keep some of these signals here relatively simple and then just act accordingly. Now, let's go take a look at what's going on inside. Let's go look at what's going on inside the ETF uh, for the S&P 500 by looking at the sectors. I'll start off with the sector that looks to be the strongest here this morning. Now, I have only got the one, two, three, four, five, six of the uh, nine out here, but that's pretty good. Uh, let's uh, let's go uh, take a look at uh, the XLE 7902, 49 cents uh, to the upside out here. Did have a little bearish engulfing candle at the 0.618 retracement level uh, yesterday inside the XLE. Um, you're not getting any follow through today, so that kind of washes that out as we speak right now. But the day's not over. Um, next level to the upside inside the energy sector ought to be $80.59 out here. Uh, very possible that what this is doing is setting up an A to B equals CD to the upside. Uh, but one thing at a time, uh, next stop, $80.59. And then 82.43. That is on the energy sector here. Did you get a short signal yesterday? Well, maybe you got a bearish engulfing uh, candle. But remember, the XLE is kind of like the weaker of all the sectors out here. And with the with the uh, S and P itself, the price oscillator, everything being above the zero line, um, you know, you're not getting any kind of additional signals that say jump on the short side. Now, with regard to the E S mini out here, no question, major resistance here. I would say that uh, you know, just as your guideline price areas to be paying attention to, it's very it's very clear to me. Should be clear to you. I'm going to make it clear to you as well. If you watch the uh, if you watch my chart out here and you take a look at this uh, black horizontal line going across the top and the black horizontal horizontal line going across the bottom these are your horizontal trading ranges this is your consolidation area been in place here since March 26 we're in April 9th out here pretty good consolidation 35 36 point move out here now the ES mini has tried to bust out that high couple of times came up here with a wide ranging bar this wide ranging bar from two o'clock in the afternoon on April the 6th a couple days ago you cannot you cannot ignore that I mean that is strong strong like a bull out here nonetheless look where price stopped right at the top of that resistance area and we can see every time up here we see the body of a candle is the essence of price out here the wicks are nothing more than the extreme emotions that took place during that time frame that the candle is that you're looking at. Not been able to bust it out. Uh, if we do see a close above that uh, level, that level, by the way, is uh, 4,000, 4,000, how about that? Yeah, 4,000, how about 2,078? You close above that, you close above 2,083, because 2,082.75 is your five-hour energy drink, uh, Taz Market Profile, sponsored by the five-hour energy drink company out there. I don't even know where the heck that comes from. But uh, in any event, that's your that's your real resistance uh, level. But there's support. 
The support is down here at 2,066. So today, in order for the ES Mini to croak, in order if you want to take the uh, weak sector and uh, jump on the uh, short side or something, you've got to see it close below 2,066.75. That then offers you 2,053 and a quarter, maybe down around the 2,042 uh, level as well out there. But at this stage, uh, sideways markets probably frustrating the heck out of you. Um, just know that you're up against a resistance. Uh, you know, have your stop if you're short. Have your stop above 2,082.75. That would be Stevo's recommendation out there. So that's what's going on inside of that market. Let's come back and take a look at the other sectors out here. Let's go look at the numero uno, number one sector inside of the S&P 500. That is the XLK. What do we know about the XLK? The XLK has uh, rejected the uh, swing point here from March 26th. Uh, uh, in order for the XLK to begin to fail, it needs to get back inside that level. That is at 4155. You're at 4177 as we speak right now. Okay, look at the uh, resistance uh, here from its TAS market profile at 4191. You close above 4191, the XLK will resume its move higher out there and of course uh number one waiting inside the xok is apple they're coming out with their smart watch that's not what they call it right it's not a smartphone but they're coming out with their watch here uh tomorrow i believe so we'll see if they can uh, get some uh, juice some energy uh into uh, that speaking of apple let's go see what it's doing right now AAPL down 30 cents as we uh, speak, but just really trading sideways. So not giving us any kind of a, a signal as to what it wants to do um, at this stage here. Um, more likely an A to B equals CD to the upside. Uh, and if it is, if it takes out 133.60, if it gets above 128.58, well, then what you're looking at is a, a move to the 150.60 area. Let's go to uh, Dennis in Chesapeake Beach, Maryland. Dennis, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing this morning? Great. How are you doing this morning, Steve? Excellent. Are you a native of Chesapeake uh, Beach? Uh, no, sir. Actually, uh, uh, I'm really from Pennsylvania, but I've been here for a long time, uh, about okay. since 96, 90, 95, somewhere. Well, what can you tell me about Chesapeake Beach, Maryland that, that, that each of us ought to know? Uh, it's a quaint little beachfront town on the Chesapeake Bay. Okay, all right, Biggest good. Biggest estuary in the world. Oh, is it really? Yeah, as far as I understand. Yes, it okay. is. Okay. Well, now there's there's a fun fact for us. Maybe we'll see that on uh, Jeopardy. <laughs> Maybe. That's possible. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take a look at AT&T. Uh, tell me what you're doing, how I can best help you. All right. I've got some funds that I'm looking to uh, get in as dividend plays. Okay. And uh, AT&T might be one of them. I'm looking maybe possibly at BP. Uh, so, but AT&T is on my, on my radar right now because of the level that it's at. And I'm just curious on if you think it's a good time possibly to scale in. Okay. I'd like to have a problem put possibly like um, eventually have about 1,000 shares or so. Okay, so let's look at AT&T, and uh, what, uh, what Dennis is looking at, or what we're both looking at here, is the December 15th swing point right now. And on yeah. December 15th, Dennis has did about 30 million shares to the downside. And that's a swing point that we're trading at. The top of that is 32.44. In today's action, it actually got down to a low of exactly 32.44. Now, the volume today, we've been trading for an hour and 15 minutes. It has done volume of 6 million shares. So our benchmark is 6 million going against 30 million. Um, you're really close. I don't know if volume is going to remain at this pace here. You know, normally it's heavy in the morning, lightens up, and then you have a little bit of volume towards the afternoon. Yeah. Um, you know, you're, you're trying to build a position, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, um, I would I would use, you know, the following, what you'd ideally like to see, because it seems like it's coming in a bit hot. Perhaps your ideal spot to get a piece of information is at the bottom of that December 15th swing point. And okay. that low is 3207. Yes. So I, I would I would look at this uh, as a as a way to as far as information that AT&T is providing you, ideally one of two things. Either a test of 3207 on less than 29.9 million shares and closing back above 3207, or 
If this were to close above 32.72, that's the TAS market profile support level. Then you would at least be inside of that box. You would have tested a swing point, hopefully all done with less than 29 million shares. And that would say, okay, time to go ahead and begin building that position or take the full position. Um, you know, that's what the current message is now. Let's take a look at the downside here. Let's uh, if there is one. Let's go take a look at a weekly chart and yeah, I see. I looked at a weekly and a monthly, and a, you know, and it's 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 down there in the twenties. So that's what I why I haven't really uh, pulled the trigger on anything yet. Yeah. Yes, and uh, in a, in a weekly chart, just looking at that same candleish area, that same time frame. We had a full week today. The week of December 15th, there was 165 million shares yeah. into that swing. And this week, as an example, you're at 74 million shares. So it's light on the weekly. Unfortunately, that weekly swing point is huge because the top of that is 33.76 and the bottom is 32.07. Yeah. So let's go on the let's let's go with the 32.07 is the real number for okay. you to for you to look at. But I will I will say this here. We take a look at the weekly chart. I'm going to go ahead and remove those numbers here. Um, and we take a look at the weekly chart. The interesting thing here is that this is a, we're taking a look at the TAS market profile box. So on a weekly basis, this has been in place since uh, the end of the year, the end of last year, December of 2014. And this area here, 3248, continues to hold as support. So until it closes below that, this, the, you know, you, you're probably in that range. Now, the range of price to travel, and I think you're looking at more of a longer term trade here. This is in a trading range between 32.50 and 34.93. So let's call it 35 bucks out here. Um, but on a weekly chart, you know, if it closes below 32.48, if it closes below 32.07, um, it doesn't, it still may have some support back here. At the uh, 3174. So I don't know if we're arguing about some pennies here. Understand. Understand. <laughs> you you yeah. know, that we, you know, let's, we may, we may not want to, uh, yeah. it's, look, it's not good for the equity if it gets below, like, the, you know, the 3170 ish type area out here. But Correct. you and I, we may be picking this apart when you're looking at a longer term trade and the uh, dividend piece of it. And, uh, you know, you may be at or near where that bottom is right now. Understand. Okay. okay. Very good. Hey, you bet, and uh, thanks for calling, and uh, thanks for sharing with us All right, information about else Chesapeake. Is looking at it too. Excuse me? I says hopefully somebody else needs that, needs that answer also. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, thanks for calling in for someone else. All right, you take care. All right, you Bye. betcha. That was uh, Dennis in Chesapeake uh, Beach, uh, Maryland. No place I've been, but uh, sounds like a, a nice, I like nice, quaint places out there. Maybe you're living one as well. This is Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. 
The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's off 47, S&P is off 4, Composites down 12. Russell, 2,000 under pressure here this morning. It's down uh, 10 uh, bucks. Let's go take a look at the IWM. Got six point, uh, a little about 6.1 million shares here uh, today. Let's see, has it tested the uh, swing point? The swing point here is March 23rd. The high was... 126.32. Yeah, 126.32. So the low there is 125.79. What's the high so far today? 125.73. Still has not been able to uh, get up there. Uh, volume, 6.1 million shares. I don't know what happened to yesterday's volume on my chart. I probably have to restart this whole thing. That's a shame. I can't do that during the next uh, three minutes and get things back up and running. Um, you know, we, we have a confirmed A to B equals C to the upside inside of the IWM. I uh, got above the 123.78, the B point with the volume out there. So at this stage here, it looks like it still wants to make around 129.23 out there. Again, uh, just to kind of summarize, I mean, we covered this a bit here. I, my ex my expectation, like you've got the uh, you've got the Euro Japanese yen. Just uh, talk about throwing the heater out here. It most certainly is throwing the uh, heater. It's straightened down towards its uh, session uh, lows out here. That's never that's a headwind for any U.S. stock market that wants to move to the upside. Major headwind out there. So it's going in the wrong direction for you bulls, going in the right direction for you bears. But when we take a look at this, we got to really keep this in perspective here, okay? We know you got big resistance at the 2078 ish area, and we know you got great support at 2066. So until either of those levels get busted, you're simply inside this trading range. And I would say, from the trading standpoint, in a market that's gone nowhere, basically since december 31st out here uh these are you know those are the areas where you want to take a look at your stops and your profits and so forth 
because that's the uh, wider trading range that this uh, market is in out here. So, uh, you know, and, and, and until these areas fail, like in the case of the ES, hey, you get below, you close below the 2066. I'd have to really say again, 2064.50. And then you could start to see price come back to this breakout of that wide-ranging bar at 2 p.m. Uh, on the uh, trading session of April the uh, 6th out there. So that's your, really your parameters uh, for the uh, day. If I look at anything else here in the market that uh, we should be paying attention to, uh, you know, again, gold and silver haven't really changed much. So we know that they're up against uh, what should be some support levels out here. So we'll watch for that. We're paying attention to that uh, full moon. Um, Barrett Gold, strong leg bull, you know, up 17 cents, had that nice big sign of strength out there. Uh, as far as any other, let's take a look at Wynn Resorts here real quickly. W-Y-N-N, -N. this uh, equity has struggled, but I see that gaming stocks look like they're uh, performing well here this morning. What is Wynn Resorts doing? Trying to uh, trade above a most recent swing point from March 23rd that had 3.2 million shares. You've done 811,000 shares as we speak right now. So it uh, looks like there's a small A to B equal CD pattern inside of uh, this equity. It most certainly has uh, struggled out here. Uh, the one-to-one -one takes it about 138.52. Uh, you know, probably that's where it's headed to. That's on Wind Resorts, W-Y-N-N. A -N. Hey, Apogee Enterprises. I didn't know there was such a uh, such a, a company. A-P-O-G. I like Apogee. Maybe there's a Perigee company out there as well. Apogee is the uh, lunar phase when the moon is furthest from us. We just had Apogee not too long ago. In this case here, this is off to the moon. It's taken out a B point with volume. Uh, let's go take a look at that price target out here. The A point is down here on January 5th. Your B point is up here on uh, February 26th. Your C point down here on March the uh, 13th. One to one, 51.59 inside of this equity, likely headed to about 54.36. Hey, folks, uh, stay tuned. Our man Basil Chapman, he'll be up next uh, after Basil. Let's see, it is terrific Thursday. It's a great lineup. We got Daryl Martin. We got David White. We got the Tom O'Brien show and Andy Heck. He'll go ahead and take it on home for us like Dave Mason. you got to know the Dave Mason song in order to know that. Take care, folks. Have a great Thursday. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.